you must be wondering what I am doing with this ball filled with water. We are doing a small experiment to describe, to prove that this glass is not empty. This glass is not empty actually. You must be wondering why it is not empty. It is looking absolutely empty but it is not because it is filled with water and that is what we are going to do. I am going to dip this glass upside down into the water and see whether the glass gets filled with this water or not. Just see, I am trying to push it down. It is not going down. It is not going down. According to this, that water is the fluid and it can move anywhere. So it should come into the glass, but it is not coming. It is not, uh, uh, glass is not filled with the water. I am pushing it down. Now see, the air bubble. Now the air bubble, which is showing that this glass is filled with water. Now it can be dipped. But when I try to dip this empty glass filled with air, it won't dip. Yeah, just see it the bubble is showing that this is filled with water next experiment i'm going to tell uh, show you that now see i'll try to do this let me see if it happens if uh, um, you can do it with any paper i have got this paper from the cardboard now see here i'll try to do this let me see if it happens this glass is filled no, it won't happen. It will not because just see. There is empty. But how come the water is not falling down? Because the pressure of air from the downwards is pushing this cardboard paper up. And that's why water is not spilling. Interesting, huh? You can do it. Okay. So next experiment, I'm going to show it. Just see. Okay. Another example, I'm going to show it. This syringe you see the syringe you may be thinking it is empty yes it is empty but when I try to cover this opening and try to push it I am unable to push now see here what happens just see the pressure of air what happens to the pressure of air it is it is bouncing I am not able to hold and look at the pressure I am putting it how much pressure I am putting. Now when I leave it, it will go back. And now see what happens. Mind the sound. Okay. Mind the sound. At the moment I will remove this finger. What will happen? Can you hear it? See the pressure I, 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 I was put because of the pressure of this uh, syringe. Now see here. Once again. See the pressure of the air. Sound of the pressure. Okay. Now see here. It's all. Without this, when I'm pushing the syringe down, it's simply going down. Nothing. Simple. Now see here. Now I'm putting it here. When I am doing this, the air is getting filled into it. Now when I do this, close the opening. Now look how much pressure I'm putting. See my fingers. Now when I, when I leave it, it is coming back. And now listen to the sound of the pressure, the air, sound of the air. I am removing this finger. Interesting, isn't it? So there are many things that you can do. Actually, I'm having one more uh, experiment with this. I'm having the knife. Uh, knife. See. I'm just using this knife. This is blunt side and this is sharpened side. Now when I try to cut, look how much pressure I am putting. Just try to see how much, I'm, am I able to cut? Yes, I am, but I have to put much pressure. But when I use this side, the sharpened side, side, look how fastly it is cutting. Because the surface area is less, so pressure exerted is more, thirst is more. But this is pressure. There are so many examples that you can take 
and do and perform. Let me see how many of you can do. Here is another interesting experiment. So what do you think? If I blow the air between these two paper, what will happen? What do you think? Yes. You may be thinking, maybe think you are, it must be like that. If I blow the air, blow the air between these two paper, it will flow like this. It will go upward like this, in this direction, right? This paper will go in this direction and this paper will go in this direction, right? Let's see what happens if it actually happens or not. Fine, let's see it. Like that, something went wrong perhaps. Let's see again. Again something went wrong, right? Let me do it again. Every time it is coming towards each other. How come? Let me see. Let's try once again. Again. What? Something. Am I holding the paper in a wrong way or I'm doing something wrong? That is not allowing paper to move. To fly this side and this side. Instead they are coming to each other. No. This is science. And it is, happens because, it is happening because of the pressure I am exerting here by blowing air between these two papers. Because when I am blowing the air with pressure, then what happens? There creates a low pressure. The air is rushing. So the, vac the less air, low air pressure is creating over here. So le less air pressure and here the more air pressure is there so they are trying to fill up the gap they are moving towards each other interesting isn't it let's do it another example another these two bottles can you see two bottles what do you think can i be able to blow the balloon Oh, this bottle is empty so I can easily blow right so let's see if I am able to blow the balloon let's see uh, actually if it is like this uh, 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 I wanted to bring one balloon that can be blown uh, you you know that how the balloon is blown inflated now let me see I'm trying to blow it Something wrong with the bottle or with the balloon let me see let me this bottle is empty but I'm trying to blow the balloon and I am NOT able to blow it now I'm not able to inflate it something wrong let me do this the same balloon maybe size is different you see what's uh, if I am able to blow the balloon from here right. interesting that's interesting how come i am able to blow the balloon in this because of the size of the bottle what do you think because of the size of the bottle not because of the size of the bottle because we know that air is matter and it occupies space so when I have uh, put the balloon in the, this way to this bottle the air is already filled in this so it has occupied the space and since when I blow more of the air into the balloon it will not there is no space for the uh, uh, no room for other uh, more of the air so when I am trying it, I am not able to blow. But here, what is there in this that I am able to blow it? But it is not happening. Again, I, I, I blew, but I 
could not hold it. Let me try once again. Yes, I did it. There is some magic, right? Now I'm putting some water in it. Or rather, I'm putting one pen in it. Just see. One pen. And magic pen will come out automatically. Isn't it? Let me try once again. Or shall I tell you the reason behind? Now, the bottles are same, but there is one difference in this bottle and this bottle. You know, there I have put a small hole. There is a small hole over here and when I am blowing it, when I am blowing it, the air into the bottle is passing out from this hole to give the room to this balloon right and if I'll fill water in it what will happen water will spill out just like when I inserted the pen into it and it was magic similarly similar in the similar fashion if I'll pour water into it the water will come out and spill okay so that's it this is the wonder of air and air presser right one more thing I would like to tell like uh, See, what is happening? Can I blow the balloon from this hole? Let me see. These are the wonder of science. You too can do many of the experiments, right? Let me see how many of you can do. Thank you.